Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm Lindsay and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. Cork and Dusties. We do Ooh. have a cork today too. Oh. Wild turkey. Not super old. 15 years. Is it? From 2015. Whoa. Okay. Not 15 years old, from 2015. Oh, sorry. Wild Turkey 101, the last, the label before the new one, the current one. This is the current one. We have a mini. We also have a pint, but the pint doesn't look like what the real bottle looks like these days. But this one does. So. You want to explain how you know that it's a 2015? My infinite years of Winston. Doubt it. So I learned how to read their barcodes. There's a guy who, um, he's, I don't, he must have worked there or something or has in a source. I don't know. Um, but it tells them how to read them. So the year is the first letter. So there, it says LL slash, but like they've changed their laser coding seven times in the last like 12 years. So it's kind of hard to decipher but he figured it out. Um, so it's LL slash like DA210451. So the D is 2015. The A is the month, which is January. The 21 is the day. And then 0451. So this was bottled at 451 in the morning. On January 21st of 2015. Some early risers. All right. Uh -uh, we ain't got time for that. All right. I'm going to crack you the crack bottle. It. So the LL in the beginning, that must just be like the the code for that laser code. Because all the ones we do have that LL. Yeah. Hmm. I haven't had 101 in a long time. I know. Time. You haven't had just the basics in a while. Had 81. Damn. <laughs> okay, wild well, turkey, we see you. It's like a cork pop. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, doke. So we're not going to put it in a Glen Cairn just because we're not really going for all the smells. I'm just going to get a generalization. It smells like caramel. It smells like what I used to drink. Caramely butterscotch. It smells good. <coughs> oh, this one doesn't smell that. Mm. I don't smell it as much in this one. Yeah, this one smells better. Oh! It has quite a bit of oak on it. Mm. <coughs> I used to drink wild turkey. Um, it's got this certain flavor that I used to love. I would take shots, but I didn't hate the flavor. I've loved whiskey for a long time, but I just didn't drink it neat for a long time. Hmm. So, my two minute thoughts. 30 second thoughts. Ooh. This is the new one. This is the old one. <coughs> Excuse me. This smells phenomenal. Like you walked into a candy maker shop and he's pouring fresh caramel. Like That's the new bottle. This is the old bottle. No it isn't. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. Yeah it is. <coughs> so... This smells like I just walked into a candy maker shop and he's got caramel in the mix and it smells phenomenally. And it tastes sweet, oaky, very balanced. But it is a little peppery. This, I get a caramely, sweet, butterscotchy smell, but it's very faint. And this is the newer one. But the taste is a little smoother and a little sweeter. I don't know. Okay. 
I'm taking the dusty one. <laughs> so I thought they both tasted very, very similar. The nose, I would actually... For sure, the nose wins on this side. I disagree. You like the new one? Yeah, I do actually. I think this one smells a little bit more complex. And by a little bit, I mean, if I were to be blinded on these, they'd probably be like a half a point away. They're very, very close, but I actually prefer the new one a little bit better. Now that one did come out of plastic, so it might be a little different. I... It is very mm. familiar because I used to drink it though, yeah. and I really want to drink this again. Oh, well, there you go. We got a bottle left. I forgot how much I liked 101. <laughs> so I prefer the older one. I think the older one tastes better. It's got much better nose notes, and I just think it all around is better. She is literally scrounging cat food right now. We hid the cat food, and she found a couple pieces on the floor. These animals. So I'm so, going to take the, the 2015. That is very good whiskey, though. and I. So the nose... I would, okay, I would say the 2015. The nose does have the edge. But you like the taste. The, the taste, I thought the newer one had the edge. The bottle... What do you think about the bottle? This is what's this is what's deciding it for me. Finishes are about the same. Bottles haven't changed a terrible much, but I don't like the turkey on this one, so I'm gonna Ooh. say the new bottle. I'm gonna say the old bottle, just because I'm not a big fan of the color white. This is like a tan label all around. I actually prefer this one. I am going to go with the older one in general is my favorite. Me too. I think the bottle is what it and is. That's just because of the bottle. I yeah. think the taste is very consistent. If you find just an old one, different. pick it yeah. up, definitely. You gotta look for these labels, guys. Like that's how John and I have been doing it. So they the really old ones have a full colored turkey on them. Like a turkey you'd see in the wild. This is the one that they switched it up to is like this I don't even know what this is called. It's like a faded oh, turkey. One. And now yeah. it has the profile on it. So these are the newer ones from 2016. These are 2016 and older, back until you get into the really old stuff. But So we found this at a little <coughs> convenience shop right on a lake outside of Hastings. There was two tiny. bottles. I said, we definitely need to buy at least one. Yeah. I'm going to regret it when we get home that we didn't buy both at like $27 a bottle. 26 after tax, 27. Yeah. I do regret it. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll be back out there. We'll, we'll see if it's still there. there. I mean, it's been there that one. five years now. We might. Yeah. It should be there still. Who knows? But definitely, I don't. This All older the stuff's are getting me. Cool. Yeah. The older, the dusties are becoming my friend. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.